This is Christian Tobar, your host and aspiring inventor, novice astronomer, and mad scientist. You may have seen some of the pictures and videos I have of my Tesla coil. Incandescent light bulbs transformed into glowing plasma, high voltage sparks and a fiery corona crackling in the air, fluorescent and neon tubes lit without wires. Of course, seeing it in real life is even more incredible. Pictures just do not do it justice. Well today, in this short video, I'd like to share a little bit about the components in the Tesla coil and how it works. The Tesla coil was invented by Nikola Tesla during his experiments with alternating current of high voltage and high frequency during the late 1800s and early 1900s. Tesla often referred to his coils as disruptive discharge coils. He was definitely far ahead of his time. In addition to developing the alternating current distribution system as we know it today, one of his ambitious projects was transmitting electrical energy without wires. Engineers continue to study his experiments to this day. Sadly, Nikola Tesla was never given the full recognition he deserved. Although, this is beginning to change as more people realize who he was and the many things he contributed to modern society. A Tesla coil is often described as an air core resonant transformer. Even a small coil may be capable of generating hundreds of thousands of volts at high frequency. My Tesla coil can generate about 100,000 volts at a frequency of about 1 MHz. This incredible boost in voltage and frequency is due to what's known as resonance or resonant rise. With resonance, a Tesla coil can generate very high voltage with even a small amount of power. My coil uses only 120 watts at full power. To put this in perspective, your computer is using much more power than this right now. Let's take a look closer look at the Tesla coil. There are different designs, but Tesla coils consist of six basic parts. These are the high voltage transformer, generally of at least 6,000 volts, a capacitor, a spark gap switch, a primary winding, a secondary winding, and a safety gap. The safety gap is to protect the transformer from high frequency kickback and voltage spikes. And here we have the same components on my Tesla coil. The high voltage transformer, in this case a 6000 volt 20 milliamp furnace ignition transformer. This equals a power of 120 watts. Here we have a couple of 10 kilovolt capacitors connected in series and in parallel with the transformer. And here is the spark gap switch and you can also see the primary and secondary windings. And here we have the safety gap. I also had to do something a little different. I noticed that when I first built the Tesla coil that it was causing the doorbells and the phones to ring. Tesla coils have a tendency for high frequency kickback so I added a line filter to block high frequency interference from the AC lines and that seemed to solve the problem. You may have noticed that I also use a red and white color code throughout the wiring in the Tesla coil. This is actually very important. Although you don't really have a positive or negative polarity with alternating current, because the current is constantly reversing direction and polarity, you do have a voltage gradient. Some parts of the circuit are hot and have a live voltage, while other parts are neutral and have zero volts. You have to keep these parts of the circuit clearly identified and separated. Use red wire for live lines and white for neutral lines. The complex forces that work in a Tesla coil aren't completely understood but the secret to the incredible voltage and frequency boost is due to resonance. And the trick is to balance inductive reactants and capacitive reactants. Essentially, what happens is the high voltage transformer charges the capacitor until enough voltage is built up to jump across the spark gap. This fires a pulse of oscillating energy into the primary winding, which in turn induces a voltage spike into the secondary winding. It's sort of like a normal transformer where energy is transferred between two windings with a magnetic field. But again, the voltage boost is due to resonance. And unlike a normal transformer, it really has nothing to do with the turns ratio of the windings. Both the primary circuit and the secondary circuit have a certain amount of inductive reactants and capacitive reactants. In the secondary circuit, the capacitance comes from the top terminal. In both circuits, energy bounces back and forth between the charge and the capacitor and the magnetic field around the winding. If inductive reactants and capacitive reactants are equal, the circuit is in resonance. Normally, the two would just cancel each other out, but with a Tesla coil, they build on each other and the energy is actually amplified to incredibly high voltages at very high frequency. The trick is to tune the coil, sort of like a radio. 
This is usually done by adjusting the spark gap, capacitance, and by adjusting inductance with the number of turns in the primary winding. When you tune an AM radio, for example, the tuning knob adjusts a variable capacitor so that the circuit resonates with a particular frequency from the station you want to listen to. A radio uses the variable capacitor and a coil to form a resonant circuit. There are different types of coils and antennas, but the principle is the same even in modern radios with digital tuning. To understand resonance a little better, imagine that you're pushing a kit on a swing. If you push it just the right time, each time the swing comes back, the energy will build and the swing will go higher and faster each time. Of course, things are a bit more complicated with a Tesla coil, but at least this gives you a basic idea of what resonance is. The high voltage, high frequency current from a Tesla coil lets us do some pretty amazing things. And that's a quick description of how a Tesla coil works. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this short video and maybe even learned a few things. Until next time, be safe and have fun. Keep the lights burning bright.